So when it comes to becoming a better artist or trying to catch up to your taste gap, there are kind of three main things that get in the way. It's being time, money, and your creativity. So how do we expand on all of these so that we can get more aligned, have more money, have more time, and kind of be able to go into our passions, right? And so this taste gap, it's so painful. And especially when you're watching videos, and at least for me, when I watched my YouTubers at the end of the video feel so bad and kind of a little bit resentful because there was such a gap between where I was at and where the person creating was at. And it felt like I could never catch up to that position, like never be like him or her. And it was so painful, like I remember crying, like man, I will never be able to catch up to my dreams. Well, the first gate that you kind of have to go down on and go in is your energetics. And what do I mean by this? This is kind of all of the ego, all the comparison, all of the inputs that you receive and kind of unmasking yourself to see like what is truly underneath all of the trauma, all of the baggage that you have going into how you express yourself. And there's a lot there, and I'm not gonna spend this whole video going down energetics, but there's this understanding or this realization that a lot of artists, and I feel like most artists, they don't value themselves enough. They don't see their inherent value, and when they actually do see their inherent value, that's when actual change happens, and that's when expression can dive deep enough, have a high enough frequency to create an impact and a change in terms of exchange. When it comes to aligning yourself with what you're truly good at and what you truly, like what fires you up, it's at least in the modern world, looking into your YouTube search history and seeing kind of what you're interested in and seeing what kind of routines you like, seeing when time flows by really quick and what type of work seems easy to you. And like the world rewards that value because when you're super passionate about something, then you can give your 100% and the world sees that expression, sees the depth of that expression and breeds success. And the thing with this is it takes a long time. I'm not trying to sugarcoat this. This, I've been journaling for like, four or five years now, and I've only realized a few aspects of this, and they've been super impactful, and that's why I'm able to stand in front of this camera, have people walking by, like, who cares? And I'm able to express myself in this way and kind of just try and synthesize all the first principles that I've learned about this particular topic for today. And yeah, like, it's it's been a journey. This isn't gonna be an overnight success, but it's worth it in the end because when you see yourself, when you realize that you have inherent value, that you can be confident in yourself and how you express yourself, that's when you're able to go deeper into your expression to see what aligns most with you and the type of work that you like doing. And that gets so exciting because you allow yourself to express yourself freely in that domain. For me, it's trying to make these YouTube videos and posting them online and seeing if I can reach at it from a high frequency and see if other people are interested in dialogue as well. Because I'm just trying to do a monologue right now, but I work a lot better in uh, dialogue. Once you realize that the imperfections are actually important to sharing your process, your divinity, and your work, once you see that, that's when your expression can fully be realized and that's when people can go down the path of the exchange gate. And what I mean by that is when you're able to share your work vulnerably and the price of making art is sharing it and the vulnerability is the fee. Once you go down that path, you're able to realize this gate that opens up to you and that is the gate of exchange. And when you see and share the work with other people, that's when exchange starts to happen. That's when you can get on dialogues with these people and who are also passionate and who are also of depth. If you're working for the algorithm and you're trying to make content for that, 
and you're gonna pretty much create a broad output. Whereas if you're creating for the culture, then you're creating for people of depth. And once you get on conversations with those people, then you're able to see if you can bridge a gap between the problems they're facing and the solution that they want. And that's really interesting because if you're sharing your work, then you're coming at it from a place of a credibility, from someone who actually shows the work. And that's when people will see that value and see and have gratitude for you. Then you're able to exchange in that way and offer a solution and charging a very high price for it. I'm not talking about like 1K, like at least 5K so that you can get your time back, get your money going for your passions and kind of go deeper into your passions as well because you'll be waking up at, in the middle of the night trying to figure out how you can help this person because there's that equal gratitude. And if you're not willing to pay for that debt, then it's not a journey that you want to go down on and maybe the algorithmic route is for you. But if you're a person of depth, then this feels super encouraging because there are so many people who are also of depth and who also have similar passions. And when you can share your work and share your artistry, that's when you, know, you can get on those conversations and make a change, actually create real GDP value. And yeah, once you realize your inherent value, you can charge a very high price for whatever you're doing, for the offer that custom made for that particular person or that particular conversation. And once you do that and you get, you know, five, 10 people on, then you're able to take the insights from all of those conversations, all of that feedback, because there's, you know, a gratitude exchange and there's also accountability on both sides. And once you get that feedback, that's, those are learned insights. Those are gained insights. And you can use that to continue putting out yourself and putting out a frequency that will reach other people and coming at it from a high frequency. And once you do that and you get a whole bunch of people in on your group and just sharing the work, then it becomes super interesting because you can leverage your time and expertise and kind of get on group calls like every week or every two weeks and share what you have to share and kind of dive deep into the problems that are happening. And you get your time back, you get a whole bunch of money and you kind of can live a lifestyle that you need to do in order to do the passions that you really wanted to do. And so your dreams come true, but this journey is a long process and it first starts with energetics and kind of going down that gate and the deeper you go into that gate and the more you understand about yourself, the deeper your expression can be. And the deeper your expression can be, the deeper your exchange will be. And yeah, that's so exciting and I'm really passionate about sharing this. Yeah, that's it for today.